Hi guys, this is Shirdi, Sam's friend. I am doing Sam's intro. Um, I am Shirdi underscore LSN on YouTube. You can check me out, my videos are pretty lit. Yeah, like I'm a, I'm a pretty cool person, that's why I'm doing the intro. Let me ask you a question. What's up everybody? Uh, this is Shirley as she has mentioned and so she she dragged me here because she wanted to ask me questions so uh, yeah this is going to be a very very interesting Q&A like I said in the first video that we're going to be having conversations with people and so Hey guys, it's Shady. <laughs> um, I asked Sam questions. I don't know when. When did I ask you this? A week ago, two weeks ago, it's whatever. Um, I asked him questions um, because he posted a Q&A on Instagram. But he didn't answer me, so we just figured that we're gonna do this here right now because I mean. On the spot. On site, because I mean, yeah. what's the deal? Okay, first thing, um, y'all know Sam as person that he is. What is that? I don't know. I don't know, but it's whatever. Okay, let's ask the first question. Um, I think this is a very important question and people would want to know because you also would want to tell people. Okay. What is your greatest accomplishment? Your greatest accomplishment out of everything besides passing the trip or whatever, that's your greatest accomplishment. Greatest accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So far. Yeah. <laughs> it's not hard. What's your greatest accomplishment? Come on. I think my greatest accomplishment is. Um, Can you look at the camera? My greatest. <laughs> <laughs> my greatest. I think my greatest accomplishment is being able to be comfortable in my own skin. You know, uh, I'm able to immerse myself within my own character, personality and although it's difficult but uh, taking the first step in understanding that yo uh, I don't have to be who I think I am, I don't have to be who people think I am but I can be who I was made to be I think that's one of my biggest or my greatest accomplishments because like nobody can be you better than you can you know that's and true. Like, whatever that you think you are is, is, is it's not really consistent because sometimes you wake up and you feel like confident, happy, you know, certain and other days it's just filled with anxiety, you yeah. feel like, you know, um, you just feel like you're not worthy or anything like that. So greatest accomplishment is learning <laughs> to identify myself outside of my ego. So yeah, if, if that, that makes sense. We stand. That's very powerful. Why did I do this? <laughs> uh, don't say that. Okay. With that being said, the second question is, what do you love most about yourself? Like, what do you really like stand about you when you're just like, okay, this is Sam, and this is what I really like about this gent. <laughs> uh, I guess what I love about myself is that um, I never try to. I never try to um, fit into that's spaces true. that. I think that's what I've noticed about yeah, you. Yeah, I never try to fit into spaces that. Like you're on your own pace, like you're doing yeah. your own thing. Yeah. And you're fine with it. Yeah. And it works for you. It does, I mean. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never, I never fit into spaces that I don't belong or I feel like I don't belong. Yeah. Because like that, that forces me to become a person that I'm not and right now I, I, I can't really be an advocate for trying to please people yeah. or trying to so yeah. You're just doing your own thing. Yeah to keep it short. To keep it short. Okay. And then I mean we all know that we're coming from a very hectic period we will be facing a whole pandemic yeah. and people were forced to be in their own spaces and to quarantine. 
So, with that being said, how was your life during quarantine? Like, what were you going through? What were you experiencing? How were you feeling? <laughs> like, what was going on? Um, what was my life during quarantine? Yeah, that's the question. Uh, it just started, started out pretty sad, you know, because there were a lot of people that I was not going to be in communication with. Yeah. Um, in person, because you know, I feel like the, the, the best way to connect with people is in person. You know, um, a lot of people prefer texting. Texting. Other people prefer phone calls. I prefer phone calls and person-to-person -person interaction. So, like, it was, it was a bit difficult only because um, I think we all went through it. Uh, only because things were moving fast before the lockdown, and finally. Time came where it's like, okay, pause. Sit down, relax. Relax. Yeah, that's true. And we were forced to spend time with ourselves. And that was difficult because, like, I don't think I knew myself outside of my friends and, and everybody that was around me. And, like, that, that taught me a lot about um, finding my identity through the person who made me and not finding my identity through like my interactions, my relationships, my friendships, my habits and everything like yeah. that, you know. So, um, I spent most of the time reading. Uh, I read, I think I read four or five books from July until the end of August. And um, I caught the virus, as you said. <laughs> Caught the virus. It was it was rough. It was rough. First night I couldn't breathe. It was in the winter. Yeah. But then my body temperature was like a real summer. I remember so, he called me yeah. and he was like, "Bruh, we have like friends and family bringing food over because the ship the whole family caught it." Yeah. It was pretty hectic. I could hear by like how he sounded. I'm just like, "Shit, yeah. my friend has fucking corona. What the hell is going on?" Yeah. But also, I wasn't that stressed because I'm like. I think you live a very healthy lifestyle, so I don't think your body was that. Back then I wasn't, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was really yeah. worried, low key. But I'm just like, nah, I think I think you'll be fine because you were eating the right food and you were doing everything that was. I was eating pork, but okay, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then everything was cool, man. Everything was cool. Next question. Let's take it back a little. Like, like let's let's reflect. Let's go back before quarantine, before COVID, before this year in general. Tell me about a day you'll never forget. Like a day where you just like, I would tell my kids, I will tell my grandkid, whatever. A day you will never forget. Be it a breakup, be it an accomplishment, be it whatever. Um, I guess when I when I was chased by the cops. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people know about it. So, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Chased by the cops. Yeah, the cops. Okay, we're listening. Alright, fresh off of like ninth grade, right? Are you serious? And we, it was, we were fetching our reports. Yeah. Right? Cool. And uh, bear in mind, I got discharged from the hospital four days ago. Um, Why were you in hospital? I dislocated my shoulder. Oh, okay. Yeah, and my bone was broken. Oh, my arm was, yeah, it couldn't move much because it still hurt. So, yeah. now cool. I think I was there only because of one person, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a story for another day. Uh, <laughs> I was I was there for this person that I coveted and yeah, I was trying to give her back because we broke up. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was the first time I was I, I, I was drinking alcohol. It was the first time. Like the first time. In general. Grade nine. Yeah. It was the first time. Right. Okay. So y'all know I, 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 I attended Suncrest High School. So we went to Sasso. Sasso Garage, we bought booze. So we didn't see the cop car moving past like behind us. So it moved, it drove past us, right? 
And I think they saw that, okay, these kids are buying our car, right? Cool. So we walk, we were going to Emerald. I think there was like seven of us, seven or eight of us. And we get to the street and we stand there because uh, a friend of mine who we were, who like we, we ran into, they were going to the same place. So like, he was like, oh, bro, you're drinking now. I'm like, hey, bro, this is the first time. So, and he's like, all right, now nah, let me start it for you. He opens the booze, takes a sip, and he's like, okay. Was that a bottle? There you go. Uh, it was how to go. Okay. Literally, this is what happens. Literally, I take a sip. This is why. This is why I feel like I was never supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> and like it proves because this happened, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, first sip of alcohol, let's do this. I take a sip. As soon as I put it down, the cop car comes. Bro, there was a house with no gate. We went into that house, into the, the yard. We circled and went behind it. So like, we dropped everything there. And then imagine them calling my parents like yo your son was drinking and he got discharged from hospital four days ago and like you know so i just dropped everything ran so i'm with three other i'm with three other guys and this other dude says yo bros how about we jump i'm looking at this guy and i'm like bro how can we jump my arm like how is that you know so we hide and the cops load up the alcohol yeah. into, the, into the car. And so there was like a little fence, uh, Bob Dwight fence. And so like, uh, we managed to go out there. Two of us managed to like, escape from that place. As mm. soon as we leave, this car comes back. Bro, I don't know if it was instant, but I just threw myself into the bushes. Mind you, my arm, right? <laughs> like, night. Good night. <laughs> and like, I, I just threw myself. Like, I threw myself into the bushes and that was just it. And they like, they took the girls and the one guy. There's only two of us managed to like, leave that compound. Yeah. So like, I'm there, I'm lying there. I'm looking up into the heavens. I'm just like, oh, please don't. Shit. Like, yeah. And you're so young. Bro, I'm young. I got discharged from the hospital. Four days, like ago. <laughs> Four days ago. Now you're busy in the streets. Busy in the streets. So like now, the cops lower up the others and then they leave. So now I start running. So it was uncomfortable running because like now, you know, when you run, your shoulders also like have yeah. to turn. So like yeah. now I have to run without moving this shoulder. <laughs> so yeah, it was That's the first It was one of those things. So like yeah, that day I don't think I would ever You'll forget, forget nah, that day. I won't forget that day. Yeah, that's such an yeah. interesting story, right? Yeah. The only you as you say with the dreads. His signature look or what made him stand out was his dreads. Why did you cut your dreads? <laughs> Everyone is curious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah.